in today's video. I will be showing you a few methods you can do which will hopefully fix the connection issues you're having in Roblox on your PC or laptop. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure no one else is downloading or streaming on your network. If someone is downloading a huge file or streaming a movie or a TV series, then this could really lag out your connection, causing you the problems you're having in Roblox. So just ask them if they can stop downloading for a second or streaming, and then see if you're still getting the connection issues. If you are still getting the connection issues, then you know it's not down to the streaming or the downloading. So the next thing you then want to do is just make sure there are no known issues with your internet provider. So log on to your internet provider's website and just see if there are any internet connections in the local area which could be causing you the issues. So the next thing you then want to do is just make sure Windows is completely up to date. To do this, all we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click on settings and we now need to go ahead and click on update and security and you want to just go ahead and install any new updates. As you can see, I do have an update pending, so I need to go ahead and install that update. If you have any pending, install those. If you don't, then click the check for updates button and then see if Windows detects any new updates. Once you have done that, then the next thing we now want to do is right click on the start menu icon again and this time you want to click on device manager. This will now list all the hardware that's in your computer. You now need to expand the network adapters and you now need to right click on your network adapter and just simply press update driver. You now need to go ahead and press search automatically for drivers and it will now see if there are any new drivers for your network adapter. If it does say you have the best driver installed, as you can see mine does, go ahead and go to the manufacturer site for your network adapter and see if there are any new updates available on their site as well, because Windows doesn't always detect the latest drivers. So once you have done that and you've installed a new driver, go ahead and restart your PC or laptop and after you've installed any new Windows updates and then launch Roblox and see if that has resolved the issues you're having. If you are still experiencing the connection issues in Roblox, don't panic because there are still lots more things we can do which will hopefully resolve those problems. So we now need to right click on the start menu icon again and you now need to go ahead and click on Network Connections. You now need to click on Change Adapter Options. You now need to right click on your network adapter and this time you simply need to just go ahead and click on Disable. This will disable your network adapter and we now need to go ahead and right click on it again and go Enable. This is basically giving it a little refresh. Once it's finished doing that, go ahead and launch Roblox and see if that has helped with the issues. If it hasn't, then the next thing we now want to go ahead and do, if you can that is, is plug your computer or laptop directly into your router. If you are using Wi-Fi, then you can end up having a lot of issues when it comes to connection. So I do recommend you use cable if possible. If you are already using a cable connection and you do have another cable available, go ahead and swap the cable just in case there's an issue with the cable. If that still doesn't help, then we now need to go ahead and right click again on the start menu icon and this time we want to click on settings. You now need to click on update and security and we now want to go down to troubleshoot. You now need to click on additional troubleshooters and you now need to click on internet connections and go run the troubleshooter. This will now detect if there are any problems with your internet connection. As you can see, it's not detected any issues with mine, but if yours has detected an issue, go through the troubleshooter and let it run its thing. Once you have finished doing that, you now want to scroll down as well, and you now want to click on incoming connections, 
which is find and fix problems with incoming computer connections and Windows firewall. And once you've run through that one, you then want to do the network adapter troubleshooter as well. Once you have finished running the troubleshooters, go ahead and launch Roblox and see if that has helped. If that still hasn't helped, then the next thing you need to do is go ahead and open the start menu and you now want to type in CMD and we want to run this as an administrator. You now need to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and press enter. Once that's finished, go ahead and try Roblox again. And if Roblox still isn't working, then unfortunately it does actually sound like there's an issue with the game install on your computer. So you will need to give Roblox a reinstall and see if that helps. And if that doesn't help, then unfortunately it could actually be an issue with your Windows install. So you might need to reinstall Windows. You can always go to websites like Down Detector as well. I forgot to mention this at the start of the video where you can see if there are any issues with Roblox at the moment. I will put a link to Down Detector in the description below. So you can click on that link and just see if anyone else has reported connection issues with Roblox. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video did help you resolve the connection issues you were having with Roblox. If it did, smash that like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.